All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Good morning. Good evening. Uh, welcome. Paul Tranny here. Going to dive into a little mermaid action. Mermaid, that is. Just basically doing an illustration uh, for the month of May. Uh, illustrators use it uh, to uh, do mermaid designs. So I want to welcome you. Thank you so much for joining me, Ambreen, Mohammed, and Hamza, and everyone. Let's kind of dive, <laughs> dive right into it since we're talking about mermaids. And I will uh, keep track of uh, chat and all that good stuff as well. Oh, fantastic. Let's do this. Uh, switching over. Uh, yeah, here's, uh, here's kind of what I'm working on right now. It's like, I like the sort of like, I don't know, like linotype sort of like print. I kind of like these colors, but here's currently my mermaid design, which I'm going to go through and uh, step you through. So again, thanks so much for joining me, um, everyone. Uh, fantastic. So cool. Okay. Click into that. All right, fantastic. Um, so yeah, this is kind of what I'm, I'm thinking. And I've done some other stuff, by the way, just so everybody knows. Um, downloading some files, but also on. Here's uh, something to look forward to as well. This is only one of a couple of, uh, of ideas that I had. Here's uh, sort of my latest one that I made last night, which is also uh, a nice mermaid design as well, as you can see. Look at the bubbles. The bubbles are moving. Uh, that's a separate conversation, but it should get you excited about uh, sort of what you can do uh, with Creative Cloud. We're going to be focused on Illustrator uh, right now, just so you know, which is right in here, right? Uh, hello, Felicia. Good to have you here as well. Yay. It's like all my friends. It's good to see. Um, so what you could typically do in Illustrator, of course, is just to start draw, start drawing, right? And I usually change my pencil really fast and I literally just use the pencil by the way um, so just double clicking right in here I change this to smooth for the pencil click OK uh, it's N for pencil and typically I'll start drawing and hopefully you have hopefully you're lucky enough to have um, say for instance a um, Wacom tablet or even an iPad uh, but this is typically the way I'd work Again, let's kind of click N, let's kind of draw out a face. I can do this like all day long to start structuring this mermaid, right? Give her a little nose, some nice lips, right? And we can see it creates very few points when I actually have this set to smooth, which was what I usually do, because I don't really want a lot of points. Anytime I want to change any of these points, of course, hopefully you could see that okay. Maybe I'll increase the stroke weight, by the way. Since I know I'm always going to be drawing more like at like four point size, I can change that in the uh, appearance panel right over here. Um, new art doesn't have basic appearance. And I know I've shown this before, but I always turn this off. So it says um, each time I draw, it's going to draw with this four point style. And not only that, what I'll do is I'll usually make this look a little more curved out by selecting this width profile like that. Okay, let me just switch over. Uh, Mor uh, Morel, thank you so much for joining me too. Fantastic. Cool. Good, good. All right, cool. Uh, again, Patricia and, hey, they, they uh, Jasmine says they're mermazing. Ha, 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 puns. I love it. Right, but now that I've defined this stroke, this is typically what I will do, and this is how I'll draw. Again, kind of come in here. As I draw, any line I create is, of course, going to uh, have that same width profile, right? And I can always change sort of the thickness, as we know, right over here with the width tool. So for the nostril, I'd want to expand that out even more. Highlighting it, right? This is my initial width profile. Expand this out just like that right? Just to, again, make it so she can breathe underwater, that is, right? Kind of zoom out. And uh, I can continue to draw this way, which is totally fine. Um, what I will actually do a lot is, of course, use reference material. So I actually just encourage you, 
you're going to get better if you have reference material and you're drawing from it. So, um, uh, and Anwar, like you mentioned, there's the X, X, the uh, Windows X, XP pen tab. I don't know about, I guess there is a Windows XP temp pad. I don't know. I know there's a Windows 10 Surface, Surface Pro. That's actually pretty good for drawing as well. So totally do that. So uh, let's kind of move on. Typically what I do is I would just kind of, let's just like jump into libraries. I would actually kind of search maybe Adobe Stock. So I can search for woman's face, something like that. Or I can even search for mermaids. But really all I want is I want a woman's face. I need some reference point uh, just to kind of draw. And typically what I'll do is I will make sure that there, let's see the results on the web. Um, uh, you know, I would use a bunch of reference files and actually uh, instead of showing f vectors, I would just show photos, by the way. I want to work from real life when you're drawing. Okay, so this is what I do. And I wouldn't even do woman's face. I would do woman reclining because that's the way a mermaid might be shaped like this. Again, I apologize for some of these photos, but this is the kind of kind of the idea as I try to find one kind of like this image right here. Okay, so using this as a, a reference image, I can buy and license it directly. I can save a preview for it. I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and buy and license it. Let's license it and then go through that price, this that process. Um, John Bookham, to answer your question, I have I don't usually broadcast. I used to broadcast on Twitch. Uh, now not so much. So. Uh, there's a graphic tablet called XP Pen, Anwar. Oh, that's cool. I do not know about it. So thank you. I'm learning as well, right? So fantastic. Right in here, it, get down, it gets downloaded to 36 days of type. This could be my reference for maybe what I want to draw. So to get you just kind of started, go ahead and use a reference image. You know, take down its opacity, right? And this is what I can use to draw as I start to sort of create this mermaid like woman okay uh, again n for pencil notice how it's always going to draw with that original setting i can start to curve around her body just like that it's always going to be smooth because my pencil settings are set that way and i can draw accordingly let's change this highlight color to just a light red since we already have that teal background but from here i can start to kind of curve out like that. Rather than me just kind of drawing from memory a face, I actually have a face as a reference that I can use right here, right? Again, connecting these lines just like that, curving that around. Anytime you don't like the line that you've just drawn, you can actually just draw right over it, okay? It is still selected, and that's also in your uh, pencil tool options right in here. So it says edit selected paths, that's what's happened, right? Happening. Um, looks like somebody wants to know about the Shaper Tool. Shaper Tool is awesome. Tool, tool, awesome tool, tool uh, as well. And for pencil, curve around. Here's the eyebrow. Same process. You get the idea. Uh, even using the width tool for the eyebrow, making it thicker right there. Okay. So this is the process I would normally like maybe go through uh, in creating what I want for Mermaid. I'm going to kind of switch to uh, my version. So imagine we've just fast forwarded. I've kind of done that. I actually used this image, by the way, um, as kind of a basis. This is the one I ended up using, just so you could see. It's this lady right here, and I kind of worked with it this way. I rotated it this way. I kind of outlined her and did all that fun stuff and ended up with, uh, I don't know. You'll see in a second as I turn on those layers. There she is. There we go. There's sort of a really rough outline of her where, again, I had to draw, draw in the legs, of course, which is actually the fins and then add a tail to her as well, which is what I was working on down here. Um, any questions? 
Um, you can draw with the pencil tool and more for sure. And that's exactly what I was doing. It's all about manipulating these settings for what you're trying to do. So if I want a lot of detail in the face, that's probably where I want to come in. And again, there's not a lot of detail in here. Um, but uh, there's a chance that I want to sort of like have more control over the lines. I might put this right in the middle and then start drawing that way. And again, what can I do? Hit I, sample that line, N for pencil, come in here and I can sort of just draw those lines up basically, but I'm gonna have more control um, for these lines as I make them. Let's go ahead and give her some eyes, huh? Cause she's looking kind of freaky, all right? In fact, what I can do here, I can take a look at some of the other drawing tools really fast. I'll just hold down right here to the paintbrush tool, which is B for paintbrush, B for brush. Uh, this brush, just so you know how it works as I expand this out, um, it will actually like create, as I paint in her eye and select, you can see it just gives it this one big um, stroke for this line, okay? That's kind of what ha is happening. Let me zoom out, hit B, just to kind of show you, this is the path that the brush the paintbrush creates. I usually don't like that. I'd actually rather use the blob brush tool. Let me show you the difference really fast. Um, turning that off and making sure blob brush is selected. Blob brush allows me to just kind of roam around in here. I want to roam around inside of her eye like that, right? As I do that, what happens? Oh, thank you very much. It made it one solid uh, shape, which is fantastic. Right, um, and what's cool about the blob brush, same shortcut keys work as I hit uh, plus and minus, I'm, or excuse me, open and close brackets, I can go ahead and change the thickness. Let's do her other eye right over here, do this really fast, and then we'll get on to the type, because I think the type's a really fun part, and she's looking a little crazy, I gotta keep in mind, and I gotta add a highlight as well, so let's just throw that in, swatches, bring that down a little bit, I usually do a couple little dots, boop, a couple different light sources, whatever you want to do, something kind of like that. She still looks a little freaky. It's because the more these look like circles, like perfect circles, it's just going to look like the eyes are like bugging out of her head. So you want to make sure that that is, of course, nice and smooth. And luckily with the blob brush tool right here, shift B, uh, you can, oops, make sure you have the right color, of course. You can add to it. Shift B, boom. Okay, let's move on. I got more to show you. I'm just trying to make her look like less crazy because I think right now she looks a little crazy, right? I need to work on that big time. Boy, does she need help. Let's turn on a couple other layers and uh, as you can see there, just kind of added our hair. Again, I wanted, I didn't want to make this uh, long, necessarily a long um, uh, stream. Get it? It's a stream and she's in the water. Uh, cool. Tamazo, I want to welcome you. Good to have you here. Anel, top fan. How do you get these top fan things? I just comment on them. Uh, if you're joining me from uh, Periscope, thanks so much for watching as well. Um, yeah, what else could we do? We can do a number of things. I love the idea of seaweed, right? I think seaweed in the background would be cool. I like the idea of adding type as well. Let me just kind of click in and get into type so we kind of get it to some resemblance of what you saw at the start of the stream. Ah, oh, look at that. Here's again, super cool type. How is this usually done? I go into properties. I go in and I say, hey, you know what? I want some cool font and uh, clear all. Right up here at the top, when I'm searching for fonts, I'm like, hey, give me a fun font, right? Right down here, black letter, gothic script, old style, you know, these sort of like tattoo kind of, I don't know, like just, just fun, a fun sort of old school style. And that's why it will load up those particular uh, selections that I have right in here, as you can see. Some of them get a little hard to see. I would say. This one kind of does. That's why I kind of opted for this one. It's probably the cleanest. 
as I drop that in and resize that accordingly. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Oh, let's, we could add some fish uh, and all sorts of things. I like the idea of playing with depth too. I like the idea of the um, really fast, the, um, uh, the text kind of maybe her hair overlapping right over here, her hair overlapping the text here, and then her tail or her fin, sorry, uh, overlapping the text down here. So I can create that mask right now. So P for pen tool, I can come in, click, click, create, of course, that particular shape like I'm doing right now. Zoop. Did I get it? I think I got it. Oop. I think I got it. So there's that particular shape. Let me change the color really fast so you can see that it is different. And again, it is still there. Boom, boom. Uh, guess what? There she is. Did I change that? Nope. Good. Let's select both of these shapes. Those two, clipping mask. There we have it. Made it a clipping mask, and then we just have that nice overlap. Uh, one more thing I said. I said um, using really fast, using... Uh, like some seaweed or something in the background, which is what I want to do next. Thank you, Hest, and uh, welcome. Welcome, everyone. I get so focused on this work that I, I don't say hi, and I want to say hi more. Um, but there's some fun things we could do right uh, the way it's at right now. I, I like the idea of dealing with that depth maybe a little bit more. Uh, but real fast, um, I'm going to go to File, New, because rather than creating my own seaweed, I have this file called All You Need, which happens to be everything I typically need in these projects, because I've already done this for a while. And maybe some bubbles too. So fish, bubbles, seaweed, those are the three things I'm thinking of. Uh, but just to show you, I do have some brushes in here, and that's what I was just gonna grab, because I think I have these ones that kind of look like seaweed right now. Uh, so I'm gonna select B for brush. I'm gonna, here's uh, our... Give me one second. Turn this off. Let's get rid of that. Uh, but basically, I have some of this content. This kind of looks like seaweed to me. I think it's kind of cool. And again, we can adjust the width of it as well. So we could have something like this. Another one we could have is maybe this version as well. So we have two different versions that I could potentially use. And again, uh, with this last one selected, I could hit N for pencil. So still using that same tool, right? We have that just like that. Um, and let's actually get three. So this is what I do. Here's three, let's take that down a little bit. Selecting all three of those, copying them, bringing them into my design and then using them in the background and adding bubbles as well. Ah, oh, wow, Alessio from Tuscany. Wow, that's awesome. I'm sure everybody's always jealous when you say that. They're like, oh, you're from Tuscany? So when I paste these brushes in, as maybe Anel knows, when I paste them in, they get added to my brushes panel, okay? So my little brushes library. There are additional brushes. If you open up brush library, there's a ton in here. A decorative scatter, some other. There might be some cool ones in here that I could take a look at. Let me open that up. Mm, yeah, there might be some fun bubbles that I can actually work with in there. Um, so again, that's typically where I work, uh, what I look for so I don't have to reinvent the wheel. And let me just draw this out. Let me just try one of these. Because Anel said bubbles, it looks like there's these dot. Ooh, look at that. Ugh, imagine that. Anel wanted bubbles. She gets bubbles. Herbert wants bubbles. He gets bubbles. Everybody gets bubbles. Uh, don't forget to share this too, by the way. I would really appreciate it. But click. There we have our fun little bubbles right over there. Okay? So again, make that larger or smaller. You get the idea. Um, maybe adjust the uniformness of it but now she has, or now that now we have some, uh, some potential bubbles that we could use, okay? 
So um, I might not be crazy about how these are spaced spaced out. No, you can always take this. You can come in here and you can say, hey, you know what? Expand appearance. Thank you very much. Just expanded the appearance. And you can see that that brush was made up of, of course, a lot of little shapes. Ungroup those. I can kind of move those around. And I can break them apart some more. Ungroup again, right? And then, you know, move this one over here. You get the idea. You get the idea. We have our bubbles. We have our seaweed. Wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it. I'm not terribly happy with this. Maybe use the pencil tool. And again, I'm just drawing like so. All right, last thing I'm gonna do before I wrap this up. Um, oh, uh, Shipu from South Africa, good to have you here. I hear all these amazing places where people are and I'm like, man, I wanna go there, right? Do you ever do that? You get jealous, you're like, man, I wanna live there. What's that like? What is your life like? Um, I hope it's amazing. You're having a beautiful, wonderful, whatever day today is. Just kidding. So again, this is why typically when I draw, um, I don't like that many points. Because again, pencil, change that to smooth. Every time when I draw, again, N for pencil. When I draw, I get less points right in here. Okay? And then just kind of controlling uh, what that looks like like so. Okay, it looks kind of bad right now. All I'm doing, these are too bold, right? They're too bold, they're too loud, not to worry. I'm just adding a little bit of texture back there, right? Because what I'm gonna do for these objects, selecting all three, not to worry, I know they look bad. If you click opacity right over here, click. Ah, you can fill the outline font with pattern life, life, ocean waves or like waves okay that's fun to kind of integrate the top well i love the idea of having the that's a great idea oh so much so so much good stuff i'm gonna change this to overlay and uh so so that's what i'm doing is i'm just playing with like the depth if you will since she's down deep but um just playing with some of these blend modes to get something nice that kind of blends with the background. Because basically I'm trying to push these back. I'm trying to push them back, right? I'm trying to not make them look washed out. So what's happening here is they're just getting muddy, okay? And that's something I don't want to do. In fact, if that's not even working, uh, let me do something else that may or may not blow your mind, but it always blows my mind. I want these, oh, I love this stuff. Are you hearing me now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, what if I just live stream for like hours and hours? I just never stop. That's also, a, that's seriously a possibility. Because look at that. I get, this is a brush. You're like, oh, that's a, you know, that, that content's trapped somewhere. No, it's not. Because you know what I think would be cool is I, I want like teal instead of that green. So right in here, we'll go to edit. Here's that green. Let's shift that over to teal, right? See what's happening or shift it over to blue. Uh, but basically, I'm making that background that just match a little bit more. And keep in mind, you can use the saturation brightness down here. Crank that up if I want. Uh, maybe it's going to be a little bit brighter. But hopefully, you see what's happening uh, with this and are impressed because this blows me just blows me away. Absolutely love it. And watch, it's going to end up exactly where it was. But again, just making little tweaks. Um, I'm noticing on the stream the, the pink is a little hot. Uh, I would probably adjust that a little bit more. Um, but again, even if I wanted this yellow, and first of all, I think this yellow is really good, but if I decided I wanted that yellow to match um, the, uh, the pink, I could shift that to add so it kind of matches the pink in there. But personally, I kind of like the yellow because it just adds like you know, just a, a little bit of pop to it, a little bit more variety. Anyway, it's not bad for a Tuesday. Last thing I'm going to show you really fast. Let me just go ahead and release this clipping mask and uh, not worry about that. But I'm going to show you this really fast. Ready for this? We want these letters to float. What do I do? 
touch type tool right over here. You ready for this? Uh, Namika, do you know about this? Uh, or John, do you know about this too? Like touch type tool? Because I want to make it look like the letters are floating. Well, I can move that. It just allows me to adjust the position and rotation of this text so I can have it kind of staggered like so. Kind of maybe show her face like that. And don't forget that we could also rotate it as well if we want to. But I'll keep that back at zero. And actually when I select it, I should be able to... Okay, good. It's back, back to normal. So again, just kind of staggering this, having some fun with it as you can see and uh, selecting that mask and making a clipping mask again. Boop, there we are. So there's my mermaid design. Hopefully you like it. Uh, a lot more needs to go into this, by the way. Um, good, okay, John. Is this helpful to everyone? Right, I think it's kind of cool for just kind of starting out. Ultimately, what I would do is I'd probably have her arm kind of overlap the, uh, the text, but that's that's for another day, right? I like the idea of having the Y underneath her shoulder. Okay, but I'm not going to get into that. I think that's enough for today, enough for Mermaid, but that's just the start of things. Feel free as I shamelessly plug uh, my Instagram and such. Um, I'll post this later today, but uh, I have other versions out there as well. So now you know. Thank you so much, uh, Namika and Juan in the house and Jasmine and everyone. Uh, let me know what else you want to see. Would be happy to uh, help you out. Um, uh, oh, uh, you'd like to know more about the Shaper tool? Yeah. Okay, so I guess this is going to be for... Um, I'll have to cover that sometime. I kind of don't have time right now. Um, but the shaper tool just allows you to make shapes um, out of primitives, if you will. So that's for another day. I think that sounds like a great idea. But I have separate files that deal with that that uh, I will uh, I'll tackle later. So thanks so much for watching me. Everybody have a beautiful day. Remember, be kind to one another. Remember, you have great hair. It's looking great today. It's going to be fantastic. I appreciate you, and let's keep in touch online and everywhere you can see my social media below. Thanks so much, everyone. We will talk to you later.